What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable EAFC24 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com on making that team better. Also, if you guys ever want to make a purchase, make sure you guys use the code DAN to get 6% off on making that team better. If you guys ever want to sell your EAFC24 coins, go to the same website and go to the selling section as well. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today we have Future Stars team number two. EA decided to drop an SBC that's not an icon, unfortunately, but it's that 91 rated. Future Stars, Lauren Hemp. We're looking at cards 5-5 five, five on the height. High, high work rates. Double four star in skill moves and weak foot, unfortunately. Left footed acceleration type is explosive. 95 pace, 84 shooting, 89 passing, 93 dribbling, 70 defending, 75 physicality as well. Play styles that the car comes with is finish shot on basic, wood pass on plus, trickster on plus, first touch, rapid, travella, and quick step as well. Now, there's a couple camp styles you can give hemp, but I'm going to be completely honest. We got to boost up that finishing. We're going to give her the finisher chemistry style. Pace is already high enough with 95 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. You max out the attack finishing. Finishing goes up to 96. Shot power goes up to 96. You max out the agility. You max out the balance and you max out the dribbling, which is absolutely amazing. I do love that everything in the dribbling category is 92 plus, except for that 75 composure. We're going to have to see if the composure is a liability with this card. But she also has 97 stamina. Absolutely amazing. That means she's going to last you the whole game. Hemp is going to be playing with our actual team right here in a 4-3-2-1 formation. And we are going to be playing this card as a right forward. Right behind that team of the year, Erlen Hallen. Now, you guys know me. I usually don't review SPCs that are double four at this stage of the game. But Lauren Hemp is 91 rated. She has two pretty interesting play styles. I want to see if this card is meta. You know, if she's suitable. Because she's currently over 500,000 coins. If you do her from scratch. So, we're going to play some games in foot champs. And see if the SPC is worth it. Alright, here we go with our first game versus Good Luck. Interesting team name. Hopefully, the back line is kind of meta. So, yeah, it's a pretty good team. KDB, Bruno, Frame Pong, that's a pretty good team. He's definitely going to switch Mateus and Van Dyke in game. Hemp, unfortunately, she missed that. Oh, she gets the ball back, though, and she makes up for that miss. Great finish right there from Hemp, and I believe this guy is going to leave the game already. 12 minutes, we get a goal. We're going into the next one right now. Very nice run from the card. I try to shot cancel that, it's on me. Very nice left stick and a beautiful finish near post. Oof, that was nice. And then this guy is going to leave the game. Is he really gonna leave the game already? That was a fucking fire pass from Hallen. We got a little lucky with the goal, but we do move on her positioning. So far, her offensive AI is very solid. Great play right there. Another great pass to Haaland. That was nice. That's an assist. She does have wit pass on plus, so that is a W. Pretty smooth on the dribbling. I also like her R1 dribbling. Good pass from Haaland. Somehow it's not a pen. Somehow that's not a pen either. I don't know what's wrong with this game. Good pass right there once again. This guy is uh, just second man pressing, which is quite annoying. And a beautiful finish from Hemp. Oof. Little Trevelle inside the box. That was fire. Unlucky. And that's exactly what happens when you defend only with the AI. This guy got cooked and a good finish with the weak foot. Let's see how she does versus Maldini. Great pass right there. 
That's an assist. We do take that. Very nice on the dribbling. Pays out to Hallen. For some reason, Hallen misses that. Very good pass. Oof! What a finish. That was absolutely nice. Good positioning once again. Very nice on the pass. It's going to be another. Oh my goodness. How does Barcola miss that? But the playmaking, pretty nice from Hemp. Oh, that step over was nice. That step over was absolutely beautiful. Damn. How does she still have the ball? Nah, this left stick dribbling is absolutely crazy. <laughs> this guy cannot take the ball off us. Boys, we officially have a glitched player. Holy. Oh my goodness, good try. We do take that top in. Making a great run here. Let's go. Beautiful finesse inside the box. I kind of stuttered there. That's my bad. But she is absolutely cooking up. Is she offside? Oh, she's not. Okay. This guy messed up with the goalkeeper. And a great finish right there. Good composure. What a ball. What a dot to Mbappe. I kind of messed up with the touch. Great step over. Nice composure. Up 6-0. to zero, And this guy is most likely going to leave the game. Alright boys. And that concludes the player review for 91 rated Lauren Hemp Future Stars SPC. Coming slightly under 500,000 coins if you do it from scratch on the Xbox and PlayStation. 561,000 coins. If you're trying to do it from scratch on the PC, we played four games with her, 10 goals and three assists as a right forward in a 4-3-2-1 formation. Now, I will say to my surprise, she's actually pretty solid. She's actually pretty good. I did not expect to have that much fun with this card, number one, because she is double four. And you guys know me, I have a huge bias against cards that are double four. At this stage of the game, I'm just a five star skill move merchant. But pros right off the bat from the card. She does have a lot of pros. Number one is the pace, 95 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. Very good pace combination with both pace splits. So she feels pretty quick. Also, she does have rapid and quick step on basic, even though it is not on gold. Some people do love play styles on basic. So she has both of them. You combine that with the pace. She feels pretty quick with and without the ball. Her offensive AI, like I said throughout the video, absolutely amazing. 92 goes up to 99 with the finisher chemistry style. She was absolutely amazing getting into the correct spots at the right moment. And it made sense why she had 10 goals in four games. And that goes into my next pro, which is the finishing. Even though it is only 84, only 84, which is very low, goes up to 96 with the finisher for those of you guys that believe in chem styles, because I know a lot of people don't believe in chem styles. But the finishing was actually pretty consistent to my surprise. I'm not going to lie. She was killing it in the box. Next pro from the card is the passing 86 short pass, 84 long pass, 88 vision. She also has wit pass on plus. So when it comes to playmaking with this card, she can definitely pass easily with that four star weak foot, no matter where you play on the pitch. Next pro and probably the best pro from the card is the dribbling guys. 96 agility, 97 bounce, 92 reactions, 94 ball control, 93 dribbling. Three of those stats get maxed out with the finisher chemistry style. Her step overs were amazing. Left stick dribbling was amazing. Heel to heels was amazing. Croquetas was amazing. Everything from the card was amazing dribbling wise. And she also has trickster on plus and first touch, even though she doesn't have five star skill modes. If this card would have had five star skill modes, she would have had an argument for a top 10 best winger in the video game. I'm not going to lie to you guys because she offers everything you want from a winger pace wise creativity wise with the passing and dribbling pretty consistent shooting great offensive ai but she's missing that five star skill moves even the five star weak foot did it really hurt ea to not give her a five star weak foot like come on EA, you're doing too much right now 
High high work rates are also pretty good for those of you guys that like high high work rates for a winger. Or if you want to play as a right center mid, because she definitely can play as a right center mid because she does have 70 defending. Give her a nice backbone or sentinel chemistry style, she can definitely help out in the right center mid role. Next pro from the card is that she has 97 stamina. She's going to last you the whole game. Now, aside from the pros, because she has a lot of pros, biggest con from the card, well, two cons, and you guys already know what one of them is, is first one is the physicality. Absolutely horrific with her being 5'5", 66 strength, 65 aggression. She's going to get bodied off the ball really, really easily. So be on the lookout. Using this card, you're going against the Vieira, a Van Dyke, a real Ferdinand. She's going to lose the ball easily. And next con from the card is a personal bias for me. Maybe it's not a con for you guys if you guys don't care about the 5-star skill moves. But she doesn't have 5-star skill moves. And I think that's a huge liability at this stage of the game if you're trying to get the best out of a car because obviously a lot of people now have super teams you know maybe some of you guys disagree with that but lauren hemp she's not behind the curve by any mean but she's not on the same level as team of the year messi winter wildcards garincha pele team of the year hassan and all those cars she's not on the same level but this card is definitely usable and she's pretty solid for what she offers. And she has pretty good links as well. So she's gonna get a thumbs up for me and a rating of a solid eight out of 10. You guys let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are going to complete this SPC or stay away from her. Thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. You guys are amazing because we just hit 7,000 subscribers on the channel this morning. Thank you guys once again. You guys are absolutely amazing. On the road to 8,000 subscribers. And for this weekend, you guys know me, I'm going to try my best to review the big board players. Maybe a Zico, maybe a Sidon, maybe of the other players. Because a couple days ago, if you guys haven't checked that out, we did review that Ronaldinho Future Star. So make sure you guys check it out if you guys are contemplating whether to buy that Ronaldinho. Till next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA and I am out. Bye-bye.